well. Okay, great. So what did you have for dinner, Andy? Uh, rice. And? Rice and some cabbage. Okay, great. So who prepared your dinner? My mom. Nice. Okay, so now here it is, Andy. Without further ado, please take a look at your book. Can you see it? Uh, yes, I can see it. Do you also have the copy of your book? Uh, wait a second, I... No, I don't have it. It's fine. So here it is. We are still in Unit 3, but this is now in Unit 3E. So all about speaking. So at the end of this lesson, you'll be able to describe a photo. Okay, so please take a look at these pictures. Which fitness class would you prefer to do? Picture A or B? Then why? Bless you. Oh, uh, I will... Uh, I will choose uh, letter B. Why? Because uh, letter B, I have uh, professional equipment. Okay, very good. So, um, here it is. What's in the equipment that makes a fitness class great? In your own in your own opinion. Uh, uh, sorry. Okay, here it is. What's in the equipment that would make the fitness class great in your own opinion? Oh. Uh, maybe, uh, the professional equipment will, uh, uh, more, uh, efficient. Mm -hmm. It's more efficient. More efficient. Yes, that's right. Okay. So now do you like dancing, Andy? No. Okay, okay. So maybe that's why you don't like this picture A2 because it has something to do with dancing because this is what we call yoga. Y-O-G-A, yoga. Okay. So now, Andy, let's learn the key phrases below. Okay. So look at the useful phrases. Are you more likely to use them for general or detailed comments? Okay. So when we say general, that is... Um, wider scope but when we say detailed comments that is comments that are very specific okay so in here the man wearing a yellow t-shirt purple the man wearing a yellow t-shirt purple huh oh so here at this so this phrase says andy is all about for detailed comments just like in here the man with a beard okay because why is it detailed because the we are describing specifically the man the man who with a beard another one okay okay the boy with um the boy with a yellow t-shirt so who the boy the boy what the boy with a yellow t-shirt so this is very specific to the boy who's we wearing a yellow t-shirt so now another one the woman the woman who is holding some weights on the ground so this refers this comment is only specific to the woman who is holding some weights do you know some weights andy some weights. Could you give me an example? Like a barbell. 
that is Bar weights. Barbell. Um, I'm going to show you a picture of some weights. When we go to the gym, we carry weights. Just like this one. This is an example of weights, carrying some weights. Another oh. one, Andy. Like this. Oh, okay, okay, I know. No. Yes, that is holding some weights on the ground like that. Okay, so now, Andy, please look at the um, phrases below. Can you please give me three sentences? Uh, phrasal. Sir, could you give me an example? Okay, example. The man who is jumping bare feet. So that is an example of a sentence. Oh. Another one, the woman with, with a purple leggings is Leg jumping. Jump, jump, okay. Yes, yeah, so that is another sentence. So can you please make three sentences using the phrases below? Oh, uh, the man, uh, the woman with a breath, the woman with the with a breath. What is bread like this? Yes, bread. The woman with a beard. A beard? This is not bread. Yes, this is beard, like, like in the man's mouth. Man's mouth. Beard. I'm gonna show you a picture of oh, beard. beard. Andy. No, no, no. The boy with a uh, the man with a beard. Yes, because woman cannot have beard. Okay, another two. A girl who is walking. A girl who is walking. Very good. One more. Uh, Tira, could I find my book? Yeah, sure. Okay. Okay, I found it. Through and what page is uh, this one? Um, page thirty-six. I'm sorry, thirty-five. Page thirty-five. I have. Wait, hold on, hold on. Oh, page thirty-eight. Photo yes. descrip description. Okay, and I opened it. Okay. So now here it is. One more sentence, please. Uh, Uh, a man wearing a yellow t-shirt. 
Very good. Okay, so those three sentences are examples of detailed comments. Okay, so now here, Andy, let's learn the words from our vocabulary. Okay, so please listen and repeat. Bob. 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 Okay, when we say Bob, that means like this. This girl has a Bob hair, like a short hair like this. That is Bob hair. Okay. Okay, next. Fringe. 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 Okay, so kindly look at the hair. Oh, it's this getting girl, off. say that again. Uh, long hair. That's right. Okay, next we have parting. 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 Yes, so this is a parting hair. Now, next we have dreadlocks. Parting. Oh, no. Dreadlocks. 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 Okay, so why is it called dreadlocks, Andy? Because it it is lock because it is braided one by one just like some of the black people yeah most of the black people has this dreadlock hair okay i'm gonna show you another example of dreadlock hair i'm not sure if there are people in china who has this Hair because most of the Western people have it, especially the black people. Okay. Just like this one. This is also dreadlock. Okay, dreadlocks. Yes. Okay. Can you see people who has or can you see people who have dreadlock hair in your country? No. Yes. Okay, because most of the people who have dreadlock hair are living in western part of the world okay now next we have here plate let's listen plat oh plat i'm sorry plat plat okay so what is plat like this a little um braid but on the right side or on the left side either of the side but just on one side next spiky Spiky. Spiky. Yes. Why is it called spiky? Because it is very. Yeah, it has to Yes, that's right. It's it has thorns. Okay. Next, bald. 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 What is bald? That means no hair. Okay. Okay. And lastly, receding. 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 Okay. So, which hair do you have in here, Andy? Here, uh, do you have the receding hair, the bald, the spiky, or the plat or the parting? Uh, I don't know. I am, yeah, I think. Hair. Yeah, I think you there's no way to describe your hair using the words we have in here. Yes. Okay. So if you're gonna redo your hair, Andy, which hairstyle would you like to have? Just choose one among the words here. Bob. Bald. Bob. 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 Oh, why? I don't know. I think that's the uh, most. Uh, uh, I think that's his most. Uh, the eight. Say that again, please. I think um, the Bob is most good looking that uh, eight here. Ah, okay. So the Bob is the best hairstyle compared to the other um, type of hair in here. Okay, so now 
Here it is. Let's take a look at the next one. So we have here beard, then goatee. 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 Yes. Okay. Now next we have mustache. 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 Okay. Next, sideburn. 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 Yes. Do you like to have a sideburn hair, Andy? No, I think that is like a, like a, a rude people. Yes, or some like addict Yahoo. people. Uh-huh. Uh, barbaran. Oh, okay. Next we have here. Stubble. Can you please repeat? Stubble. Stubble. Okay, next. Clean shaven. Clean shaven. Clean shaven. Yes. Then. Freckle. Freckle. Okay, so freckle are the spots that we have on our face. Do you have some freckles, Andy? No. Okay. So, and lastly, we have. Wrinkle. 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 Okay, wrinkle is what we got when we grow old. Uh, yeah, most of the grandma has wrinkles or most of the grandparents have wrinkles. Okay, so do you have any questions? No. Okay, now here it is. Please describe the people below using as many words and phrases as possible. So let's start with picture A. Can you please describe him? He is a beard with a beard. He's a man who is uh, had beard. The yes. second is a fringe. Fringe. Yes, fringe. Okay. Uh, the first one, that is uh. Uh, the first picture, A, his skin are, uh, rosy skin, uh, cheeks. Oh, she has a rosy cheeks. Okay, what's, what does it mean, rosy cheek? When we say rosy cheeks, the color of the cheeks are just like the rose, very, a little pink or red, blushing, uh, rosy the first cheeks. One, yeah, uh, the first one is light, uh, light skin. The second one is dark, dark skin. The third one is rosy skin. That's right, rosy cheeks. What else can you observe with the third one? Please look carefully with her face. She also has freckles, right? Yes. Yeah, she has freckles. How about her hairstyle? Her hairstyle. Mm. Oh. She got. She got, uh, I don't know what that this year, long hair. Okay, yes, long hair, but what type? So it is a braid, but just one side. So let's double check. So we have in here, a, uh, where is it? A plait. Let me listen again. Plait. Yes, a plait. This one. Plait. Yes. Okay. A braid, but just on the one side. Okay. So thank you for that, Andy. Now here, here, here at this. Can you please read letter A? He has. Uh, he has a thick black hair, a bread, and a mustache. He also has a, a tattoo on his arm. Yes. Okay. Can you please repeat, Andy? Beard. Beard. Okay. When we say bread. That is like this, B-R-E-A-D, bread. 
Bread is something that we can eat. Okay, what about letter B? She has. Uh, she has brown hair in a short uh, ponytail. She also has a fringe. Her skin is quite dark. Yes. What about letter C? Uh, she has brown. Uh, she has brown hair with two plays at a certain party. She has light skin, freckles, and rosy cheeks. Yes. Okay. So this is an example of how you're going to describe specific people, Andy. Now here at this, in task four, I want you to read the two questions below. So this is question two and question three. Then look at the phrases from A to H. These are the phrases. Which phrases would be useful for each of the question? So number one question, do you think men care as much about their appearance as women? What do you think? Uh... What do I think? Okay, how about you, Andy? Since um, you are becoming a man, do you care as much? Uh, I do you care about your appearance? Oh, sorry. Okay, so in here I will translate. Do you think men care as much about their appearance as women? What do you think? Uh. Oh, wrong, wrong, wrong. Do you think men care as much about their appearance as women? Why do you think that? Oh, uh, yes, I think. Oh, so men are just like women who care about their appearance. Like, do I look pretty? Like that? How do I look like? Yeah, because most of the women are like that. Do I look, do I look pretty tonight? How's my dress? How's my new pair of sandals? Is it good? Uh, like when we are uh, dressed up, we feel mm. we feel very comfortable and uh, we feel self confidence. So, uh, yes, you are right. It boosts up our confidence when we dress up nicely. Okay, so same with men. So now, Andy. What are the phrases that you can use to answer number two question? Uh, I remember once, I'm sorry. Um, what are the phrases? that can be used to answer number two question. Do you think men care as much about their appearance as women? Why do you think that? Uh, I re uh, as I see it, uh, maybe a man, a man be handsome can attract women and the women are pretty or beautiful can attract men. Yes. Yeah, so they are both. Very good. So yes, it's good because you answered using this phrase as I see it. We can also see, we can also say my view is that um, beautiful women can attract handsome men. And handsome men can attract beautiful women. We can also say the way I look at it or in my opinion. 
So as I see it, my view is that and the way I look at it, and in my opinion, are the useful phrases that we can answer in this question. Okay, what about number three? Tell me about an occasion when you wanted to look your best. So what are the phrases that can be used to answer number three question? Tell me about an association when you wanted to look your best, mm. my best. Uh, oh, in my opinion. G. Yes. G. In my opinion. G. 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 Yes. Okay, G. what my. else? And I remember once the once when Uh, what else, Andy? The way I look at it. Okay, so let's check. So actually we have in here A. I remember once when a few months ago, sometime last year and on one occasion because the question is tell me about an occasion when you wanted to look your best okay so now here it is in here please try to give your photo description a simple structure so once we have a task and it is about describing a picture so you have to try giving your photo description a simple structure. So just like in here, first you have to say what the photo shows in general. If you are unsure, Andy, please use phrases like it looks to me as if because that is your opinion or the photo appears to show. Okay, you can also talk about some of the interesting details in the photo and add a personal opinion or reaction. Okay, so let's apply this one. Here it is. Let's listen to two students describing the photos in task one. So which student follows the strategy better? Okay, so let's listen. Are you ready to listen? By the way, Andy, this is the strategy in photo description. We have three strategies to follow. We have to say what the photo shows in general, to talk about some interesting details in the photo, and lastly, add a personal opinion or reaction. Do you understand the speaking, the strategy? Yes. Okay, now are you ready to listen? Uh, yes. Okay, so you are allowed to listen twice. Here it is. Lesson 3G, exercises two and four. Student one. This photo shows a group of women doing some exercise. It looks like some kind of dance class. They're in a park or maybe in the countryside. It's most likely in the evening because the shadows are long. The women with black leggings and stripy tops are leading the class, I think. It looks like the others are copying them. The woman in the stripy dress in the middle of the photo has stopped dancing. I'd say that she's tired. Personally, I'd find this class quite difficult, I think. But I'd love to try it. It looks fun. Student 2. In this photo, I can see some people doing exercises in a gym. I think it's a fitness class of some kind. 
They're in a large room with a rope near the wall. Next to the rope, two women are doing push-ups. Behind them, there's a sort of climbing frame. Two men are doing pull-ups or something like that. The woman in the black vest top isn't doing any exercise. She's the instructor, I would say. She looks very fit. Okay, now let's listen again. Here it is. Lesson 3G. Exercises 2 and 4. Student 1. This photo shows a group of women doing some exercise. It looks like some kind of dance class. They're in a park or maybe in the countryside. It's most likely in the evening because the shadows are long. The women with black leggings and stripy tops are leading the class, I think. It looks like the others are copying them. The woman in the stripy dress, in the middle of the photo, has stopped dancing. I'd say that she's tired. Personally, I'd find this class quite difficult, I think. But I'd love to try it. It looks fun. Student 2 In this photo, I can see some people doing exercises in a gym. I think it's a fitness class of some kind. They're in a large room with a rope near the wall. Next to the rope, two women are doing push-ups. Behind them, there's a sort of climbing frame. Two men are doing pull-ups or something like that. The woman in the black vest top isn't doing any exercise. She's the instructor, I would say. She looks very fit. Okay, well, so where uh, are you? Yeah, uh -huh. so could I listen in again? Yeah, sure, here it is. Lesson 3G. Exercises 2 and 4. Student 1. This photo shows a group of women doing some exercise. It looks like some kind of dance class. They're in a park or maybe in the countryside. It's most likely in the evening because the shadows are long. The women with black leggings and stripy tops are leading the class, I think. It looks like the others are copying them. The woman in the stripy dress in the middle of the photo has stopped dancing. I'd say that she's tired. Personally, I'd find this class quite difficult, I think. But I'd love to try it. It looks fun. Student 2 In this photo, I can see some people doing exercises in a gym. I think it's a fitness class of some kind. They're in a large room with a rope near the wall. Next to the rope, Two women are doing push-ups. Behind them, there's a sort of climbing frame. Two men are doing pull-ups or something like that. The woman in the black vest top isn't doing any exercise. She's the instructor, I would say. She looks very fit. OK, oh. so were you able to listen well? Uh, yes. Okay, now which student follows the strategy better? Is it student one or student two? Uh, the first row, I, I, I uh, say three. What do you mean three? Okay, so student three. Uh, I'm thinking. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm thinking. Okay. Uh, the first one, they are um, maybe it's played the. Uh, The first one are played, um, they're dancing. The, okay. the, the black, the black uh, parents with uh, uh, 
with the long hair that women, uh, they are uh, his leads. Here's leads uh, the here's leads the um, the people who are dancing. Okay, so here in B, um, if you listen to the students who describe each of the photo, which do you think follows the strategy better? Uh, Was it student number one, two, oh, or three? Uh, uh, number one. Why? Oh. Number one, uh, one. The first okay. student, yes. So here at this, it is student number two. I'm going to give you a clue. It is student number two. Why do you think that student number two follows the strategy better? Uh, because uh, they think uh, their, their people are more few, so they can uh, exercise uh, better. Okay, so here at this, student number two, why? Because she was very detailed with her description. She even gave the general information or general description about the picture B. She covers all the points, give her opinion, and her answer is more detailed, focused, and structured. Okay, let's listen again and check if it's really student number two. You compare student number one and number two. Here it is. Lesson 3G. Exercises 2 and 4. Student 1. This photo shows a group of women doing some exercise. It looks like some kind of dance class. They're in a park or maybe in the countryside. It's most likely in the evening because the shadows are long. The women with black leggings and stripy tops are leading the class, I think. It looks like the others are copying them. The woman in the stripy dress, in the middle of the photo, has stopped dancing. I'd say that she's tired. Personally, I'd find this class quite difficult, I think. But I'd love to try it. It looks fun. Student 2 In this photo, I can see some people doing exercises in a gym. I think it's a fitness class of some kind. They're in a large room with a rope near the wall. Next to the rope, two women are doing push-ups. Behind them, there's a sort of climbing frame. Two men are doing pull-ups or something like that. The woman in the black vest top isn't doing any exercise. She's the instructor, I would say. She looks very fit. OK, so now were you able to check what student number two, uh, how student number two describe picture B? Uh, there are two women are doing the push up. The two women and the two men are doing the push up. Pull up. Oh. Okay, so two of the women, they are these women are doing push up. These two men are doing pull up. Oh, um, the two women are doing the push up and the two men are doing the pull up. Okay, so here it is. Um, that's right. So here in D, why student number two follows the strategy strategy better because he say what the photo shows in general he also say, he also uh, used the phrase i would say then he talked some of the interesting details about the picture and he added his opinion about the picture so andy since um 
it's already time so we will just end in here and continue the discussion tomorrow okay so thank you so much for joining our class tonight andy i'll be seeing you tomorrow bye andy okay bye bye bye